Hello everyone, in this video I will explain how to implement SED type 1 in ICS. So I will use the SQL and the generate the hash keys to compare the source records and target records. Based on that, I uh, will go for insert and sort it. So if you see here, the source data will look like this. It's an EMP table here. Then uh, I will have two mappings. One mapping which will load data from the source table to the staging table. And the staging table will be a truncated and reload every time. Then the next mapping will be uh, loading the uh, stage records into the target tables. Uh, in this case, I will uh, implement this insert else update. And uh, we'll have one task flow which will have two mapping tasks. And if you see here, the query will look like this. So let's go and uh, run the first mapping. So yeah, this is the one. Source to stage EMP is the mapping task. Let me run. Yeah, it's running now. The source stage mapping is a simple mapping, it's a one-to-one -one mapping. No other transformations are used. You can see here the mapping has completed now. 14 records have been loaded. Let's go to the database and see what all records have been loaded. Yeah, you can see here 14 records have been loaded to the stage table. Then I will run the second mapping, which will load data from the stage table to the target table. So this is the mapping of stage to target uh, load. Uh, what I am doing here, I am using that query to identify whether the record will go for insert or update. Then it has expression, then a router. The outer condition will be uh, I for insert and U for update. And based on that, uh, the fields are mapped and it will be inserted or updated. And I have a sequence which will be mapped to the surrogate key. Uh, let's go to the source query. Let's see what all logics have been implemented here. As you can see here, I'm joining uh, the stage table with uh, target table. I'm joining this one, this is the stage table, stage EMP, left join with uh, target based on the unique key, it's uh, employee number. So based on this value, we'll come to know whether the record is present in target or it's not present. If the record is uh, not present, it will be inserted. And if the record is present and there is a change in some of the field values, then it will go for update. So here we are doing that. Then uh, uh, we are generating the hash key. Uh, simply I am doing a concat of all the fields, all the required fields uh, from stage table. Uh, renamed as uh, stage hash key. Similarly, I am doing that for our target table. And uh, currently, the flag I have uh, hard coded as N. <coughs> then there is a created date and updated date. I am passing C state. Then, uh, based on the join, I am getting the surrogate key of the target table. So, this is that part. Let me run it. can see here because we have not loaded the records into target that's why this uh, target surrogate key is coming as null other field values are there and um, this uh, stage has key as the records are there in stage so this is the key value 
in stage as records have not been loaded yet so it's null After that, um, what I am doing, I am using a case condition, case when target key is null, then uh, the record will be flagged as i, which is for insert. When uh, the target uh, key is not null, means the record is there in target and uh, the stage has key is not equal to target has key, means there is some change in the source record value then it will go for update and uh, this is the uh, field insert update flag so let me run this query as you can see here the record uh, is not there that's why uh, the insert update flag value is coming as i it means it will all records will be inserted so let me run the task stage to EMP so this is the one uh, empty mapping task M stage to target EMP let's run it Mapping is running now. It has uh, completed. Let's see the stats. Yeah, 14 records are coming from source and 14 records have been inserted. So let's go to the target and see. This is the target table. Select start from TGT MPSCD. see here these are the fields which have been loaded this is the surrogate key it started from 57 because I ran it few more few times uh, uh, before uh, creating this video and you can see job uh, job run ID let me go to that uh, mapping So for each and every run we want to load one uh, unique value uh, based on the task run so i am passing this current run id if you want to load the current run id we'll go here system variables click on current run id so for the first time the task run the value will be one second time onwards it will be implemented by one so in this way the records are getting inserted and um, uh, let me update something in the source table source emp Smith 1 is there, so I will uh, change it to Smith 1, 2, 3. So now the source table has been updated. And uh, let's see here. I'll, I'll run the mapping again. I'll run the source stage. the mapping is running now it has succeeded yeah so in stage table uh, it was smith 1 now it's smith 1 2 3 now let's run this query to see how it's behaving 
how many records are going for insert and how many are going for update. As you can see here, yeah, the insert update flag is coming as U for one record. You can see here, previously it was Smith 1, now Smith 1, 2, 3. That's why there is a change in the stage hash value and the uh, target. There is a change, there is a difference in uh, the stage has key value. That's why the record has been flagged as U, which is for update. And in the update flow, you need to mention the update uh, field. So here it will be update and the field you have to mention based on employee number that is a unique key. We are comparing, that's why I have mentioned here employee number in the update columns. Now I'll run this uh, stage to target EMP. Yeah, it's running now. Let's see the stats. As you can see here, 14 records are coming from the stage table. Uh, no records got inserted into the target. One record got updated. Let's uh, go to the target table. Yes, as you can see here, previously Smith 1 was there. Now it has been updated to Smith 1, 2, 3. And at the same time, we are uh, updating the updated date. As you can see here for all other records, this updated date is null, but for one record, updated uh, date has been updated. And you can see here, for first time when the job ran, uh, the job run ID was nine, but when we um, ran the job again, and one record got updated, for that record, uh, run ID uh, incremented by one. So in this way, we can implement a CD type one using Informatica, using uh, that uh, query, where we'll compare the uh, source and uh, target uh, field values. Thank you.